Welcome back to Moonlight Sonata, apparently. Welcome back to Ludwig van Beethoven. Oh. So apparently, uh, I said in the last episode that we could save in the middle of this. Um, turns out we could not. So I had to play through the entire play. I had to play through the play. Play through the play. Had to play, play by through? play oh. of the play just to get to this point. So I mean, like, I think I think the lights just went out. So we might have to see this scene one more time. Yeah, she'd be sleeping. Shinigami is so sleepy eepy, when and I wake Desuhiku up. <laughs> is fucking doing the honk shoe, honk shoe, me, me, me. Exactly. When I wake up and I say, oh, I'm still so sleepy eepy. Is I she wake up. Is in her sleep? <laughs> that was weird. I hear the secrets that you keep. Shinigami's talking Talkin in her sleep. sleep. Five Nights at Freddy's. Wait, why am I wasting time thinking about it? <laughs> Good question, Yuma. The oh, the lights, lights are back. Again. Back to the show. All no. right. Let us eat. We're eating? Yo, what are we eating? They ate. And they yes. ate. Allow me to pass the plate. They're and rhyming. leave no cl crumbs. Le leave, leave no clums? Yeah. Clumsy. It's what's going to be on the plate. A clumsy serving of food. Get her, boys. I don't know. Thank I'm running out of things to say, Nicole. What are we eating? It's snack time. It's your heart. Oh wait, what the? What is what? that? We spent time together again. Oh. For the first time in years. I'm gonna be honest. I thought that was the plate, and I thought we yeah, were I eating know, up some too. like strange-looking broccoli. Some greens. They could not run through the garden like they used to. Together, Why not? they carried the lives of tens of thousands on their shoulders. Damn, that's a lot of people. That's really heavy. Yeah. I, I guess it's arm day. What the crown? Of the girls was no longer a crown of flowers, but a real crown instead. Damn, it's like that show on Netflix that went on for way too many seasons and wasn't that good. <laughs> Did you like the crown? No. It was I'm so sorry. bad. I felt like they just half the time I it felt was like... literally just like a bunch of scenes of people setting the table with overly dramatic <laughs> music. Am I wrong? Am I no, wrong? No, you're not wrong. Like half the time, it was like, uh, okay, we must be going now. We have to set up the tables and get the, the, I... the jewelry and we have to get the glasses. And it's like, da 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 it's like, it's just a plate, bro. I felt like so many times there was like music swelling and the scene was set for something to happen. Right. And nothing ever happened. Like, bro, I was expecting like, in like the first episode, they're like shooting at a bunch of ducks in the pond. And the whole time I'm just like, the old guy's gonna accidentally shoot the younger guy. And then the, the, that's the crown. And it's like, that never happened. Oh my God. And I don't understand why I'm even watching this. I'm sorry. Did, did anyone else like the crown? Let us know. I mean, if you watched it. If I could simply defer the throne to you and end it all. What? I would have done so in the beginning. If I could simp, but I can't simp. A queen's crown would I'm not cringe. Anatoly. I'm not cringe, bro. However, I'm not cringe, Anatoly. The war would not simply end there. Not the war. To end up this way. What are we supposed to do? Natasha wept in anguish as Anatoly gently embraced her. How Hug it out, sisters. It would be if we could flee somewhere together. But both knew full well that could not be. After a long silence and much internal strife, Natasha rose. I'm better than you, she said. <laughs> she knew this could not go on forever. For the nation and for themselves. They had a cup of wine with some matcha at the bottom. Oh. She invoked her nation's ancient tradition. Killing her sister. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Through a duel oh. Wait, oh. Holy shit, oh, bro. Oh, literally. Scotty called it. Wait, what if there's actual poison in one of those cups? I would Please laugh. Please stop. I would laugh. Wait, no, I wouldn't laugh. It would be awful. 45 minutes in. Is there going to be a death? What's going on? I feel like they're gearing up for something, you know? Probably. Let us end this, Anatoly. Oh, it's a cutscene. Oh. Natasha, what do you intend to do? Now we drink. Let's get sloshed. We're gonna get pissed tonight, bitches. 
We're popping bottles with models. <laughs> I leave it for the heavens to decide who will survive. For fuck's sake, bro. Bro. Watch there be actual poison in one of no. the No. Oh my god. I that already would be, know it. Like, absolutely. It has to be, right? I can feel it coming. You got more than I did. <laughs> the day we were separated. I was given this poison by our family what? in order to commit suicide. Jesus. Excuse me? Wait, what? What? Huh? But she saw which cup you put it in. Are they just gonna spin Switch it? The glasses around. Yeah. Until I cannot tell which one has the poison in it. Yeah, but what if about her? Once you are finished, I will reorder the glasses. Oh, okay. Well. Oh, I see. That that's, that's kind of fucked. Poisoned cups. Very well. We shall ask God. Which of us deserves to survive? Brother, so I. Perhaps it will be the God of Death that answers. Oh, she's, she's gonna come. He's like, I'm, I'm sleepy. I'm not gonna. I'm not paying attention. Sorry, I'm not on the job right now. That that's someone else's job. It's not mine, bro. These ankles. She didn't even switch them around. Finished. It is my turn then. Hop to it, I guess. In this empty theater where we perform to no one. There's like maybe four people in the back, I think. I think two of them are sleeping. It's like the chandelier crashes right now. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden it's just like, burn! <laughs> Damn, that was kind of kind of epic of a shot. I grant you the right to select a glass. I shall take the remaining one. Very well. I can't reach the glass. My dress is too large. My skirt is too poofy. It bumped into the table. It's and like your two bumps eye into the shadow table. is hideous. Oh, whoa! It's like, like her last words, <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, dead. Promise me Promise that you'll get better eyeshadow if you survive. <laughs> no, her. Look at that. To this kingdom. <laughs> it's pretty trashy. Hi, that's what I'm saying, <laughs> dog. Be a bit more selfish in your personal life. That would balance things out, I think. Meet someone nice. Go on a date. Say, You're a bitch. <laughs> Wear a dress fit for a queen. Damn, no queen. <laughs> I'm sorry, we're not taking you're you wearing seriously. pajamas right now. <laughs> I'm gonna live. To the new queen. Time Jeez. to die. It's time to drink the poison and we're actually going to die. Oh. Wait, I have a feeling I know what's gonna happen. Uh oh. <laughs> Wait. Uh oh. Uh oh. She wasn't the one uh -oh. that was supposed to die, was she? Uh oh. Unless this is a very convincing performance. I'm confused. Oh! Oh, yeah. That, wait, was, no, that, that was real. Oh, that no, she's real. dead. Oh, that was oh real. my. Wait, what? No, that better. Is it fake? It, no, is it it's real? Not fake. It's, it's Bro, there's be... pink dang and rumpa blood on the floor. Oh, yeah. Cotton. Huh? What is she? But. Are oh, oh, shit. Right? <laughs> yeah, no, Bitch. she's actually. What? Can somebody please get an adult? Yuma just saw that happen, bro. Oh, she always like, now I'm interested. What's wrong? Uh, -oh. uh, a lot's wrong right now. Um, well, I guess I didn't give this play. The culprit is not among us. Well, apparently oh, they us. are. I'm sorry. <laughs> I guess I didn't give this play enough credit. I didn't expect this to be a very dramatic episode of Rain Code. I didn't know there was going to be a death. Uh, okay, my, I have a question. My, my theory you're was not that maybe really she wasn't the one that was supposed to die. You're not by really, the way, you mean in the in the play? in the play? Yeah, yeah, probably not. What were you gonna say? You're not supposed to drink the prop wine. 
Well, she probably didn't expect it to be actually poison. Well, you're not supposed to drink it, I thought. Theater uh, kids weigh in. Well, the first thing you're supposed to do is you're supposed to call the cops. Um, uh, but they're yeah. corrupted. Yeah, so there's a problem. Somebody call for a teacher. Does he go? Uh, Please report it to the peacekeepers. Okay, wait a minute. It's Somebody not call up her on parents? Some stuff. I mean... I mean, that might be something you want to do, but I'm also picking up something, by the way. So, uh, Yoshiko left the room. Yeah, to go pee. Oh my god, it's another case of going to the bathroom. No! No, no. we're back again! No! Not again! Not again, bro! Theater performance is hereby canceled. What? So... That is um, the least of everybody's concerns right now, bro. What? What's going on? Oh, you know, death. I love felony. Is this part of the show? No. No, I don't think so. I think this is real. Well, now this is just really weird. That's a real corpse on the stage. Bro, have you not seen one as a detective? Detectives come in. We have to do something. Oh no 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 no! I can't deal with corpses. Bro, oh, are you in the right line of work? What are you doing here? Huh? Dead huh? people's faces terrify me. I can't handle looking at him. Does a he go? Oh my god, bro. The blood. What's with the blood? Why is it pink? Why is it pink, it's Yuma? It's so horrifying. I can't deal with gory stuff. You're joking, right? <laughs> Mr. Detective. He's Even like, Yuma's like, bro. My brother in Christ. Why are you doing this as a, as a, think about reconsidering your career. And also, where did these highlights on my hair come from? They're not even highlights, they're dark lights. They are they're black in the lights. back, low light. There you go. Shut up. You can't call. have one of our best friends be a hairstylist and you not know highlights and low lights. Nicole, I am stupid. Click. <laughs> but I'm not assigned to murders. I mainly handle undercover investigations and stuff like that. Oh, okay. oh I see, so, I see. Yeah, I'll leave this to you. I grant you the right to investigate the crime scene, rookie. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> yeah, I'll use my uh, disguise ability and try to lead the panicking students out of here. Yeah, yeah, do that. I'll leave the rest to you. Oh, we're gonna look suspicious as hell. Maybe we were the sus bitches all along. Everyone, yeah. Get the fuck out! GTFO, bitches! Oh, Karumi. Yuma! What do I do? This is awful! Oh, God. And I was the one that did it! I don't think... I, I mean, I, I really hope she wouldn't be the one to do no. it. After what it's happened with her friend. Calm, Karumi. That wasn't an act just now, right? That's not in the script. It was that supposed was to be... That was not in the script! Bro! It was supposed to be the other way around. She, she's really dead. Karen said... I'd like to speak to your manager. Bro, oh no. my god. Okay, now this chapter really stepped up and made itself even more horrifying. I didn't know we were gonna get to see like full murders happen right before our eyes. Oh, well, let's First go, I guess. Now, Cotton, is this school cursed? No, there's a killer oh, here. It's a murder case. There's an imposter. Among us. Come, they'll just cover it up again. Yeah, no shit. Please, I need your help. Please investigate this case, Yuma. Okay, Kurumi, hang tight, girly. Do it. But brother, yes, God. she told you that brother, already. Brother, you're like the only one that can. You're you were gonna investigate the other one. Wow, if you want to get on the black-chested Uggo's good side that badly. She Bro, we eyes. just witnessed a murder. How are you not? I mean, you're not concerned about anything, so I get it, but really, like, bro. Hey, you also want to peek at the crime scene for your own reasons. Uh, your own twisted busted. reasons. Busted. I always bust over a good crime scene. Please anyway, stop. It'll be trouble when the peacekeepers arrive. Let's search the crime scene before they get here. Oi. Okay, we don't have much time. Shit. Talk to Karumi one more time. I'm just curious. We can't. Oh. We can't. Weird. Is there anything we can look around? 
look around at before we go on stage even. Maybe. Even more curious. I mean, maybe that, that's probably gonna be part of the actual investigation. Maybe. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm running away? What? You? No, no, no. Okay. Yeah, I'm, having, I'm going to assume that's part of the actual investigation. Okay. All right. All right, yeah, Yuma. Okay, here we it's go. It's time to lock in, boys. We ain't tweaking. We're locked in. I'm not sure if it will help, but can I tell you what I saw? Yes, that will help. Let's that go. That will, like, be... that. That's the definition of help, actually. Tell us everything. During the performance, I was doing odd jobs in the wings. Okay, what were you Aside doing? From the theater club members, there wasn't anyone wondering about, like an outsider. I mean, other than when Desuhiko jumped in right at the beginning of the play. She's like, that's that was really fucking weird. That was oh, kind of cringe. Yeah. Sorry about that. He <laughs> does that sometimes. Well, that's part of the investigation, right? You can't see everyone from the stage after all. Isn't that why he went up there? So he could memorize all the faces that were there? Um, sure. let's go with that one. Right. <laughs> I think he just wanted attention. <laughs> aside. <laughs> Bro. Since she didn't see any outsiders, the only persons of interest are those within the theater club. Okay, well, unfortunately, I must say, Yoshiko's looking mighty suspicious now for leaving. I'll keep that in mind while taking a look around. I've done a few investigations already. I should be able to handle this now. Good boy. Yet you were hopelessly reliant on yours truly until now. I see it's not your brain making the decisions anymore. She didn't me. Do shut up. That? And Fuck what's, you what's that? with that freaking smug ass sprite over there? Shit eating grin. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, stop it. The eyes are wide open from agony. Boy. The body is completely motionless. Well, that ain't I can good. I immediately tell she's dead. Though she displayed many expressions while acting, her face is frozen in death in the end. This isn't an act. She was struck by an abrupt and unscripted death. And it's like I keep saying, I feel like it was supposed to be the other way around. Uh, the other girl was supposed to be the one to die instead of her, which is why she was so shocked. Okay. Was it poison? Yes. That's most likely the case. I was trying to think if that was something I could be like, oh my god, yes, of course it was, but I'm like, wait, no, but I should be nicer to Karumi. She's just, you know, this is a We'll be nicer very... to Yuma, too. Why? No, I'm gonna be nicer to him. I'm gonna be nicer to him. I'm gonna be nicer to him. I understand that they state the obvious to, you know, keep the player in the know. This will be tough to solve if that's the case. I know nothing about poison. Does Someone. anyone know about poison? Does anyone know how a bitch can die from poison? <laughs> Is this normal? What? A detective who doesn't know his poisons? Don't tell me you're a poison virgin. I think he's just a virgin. Shinigami, what the? Yeah, he probably is. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Gross. Uh, you, you've got cuties. Oh, wait, no, you don't. Well, you perverted little detective. Uh, on your knees and apologize, uh, and maybe I'll teach you a thing or two. Shinigami, I think he already is on his knees. Yeah. I Anyways. Something like, I'm sorry, I should know my place. I can't live without you, Shinigami. Okay, fine. Whatever. Come on, Yuma. Poison while on <laughs> it ignores must it. <laughs> poison must have been prepared somewhere else. Right. I need to look for that while checking out anywhere else that seems suspicious. Well, Backstage. Who, who got the poison on stage in the first place it was Backstage. clearly in the cuffs. Uh, mm. hey, don't ignore me, jerk. Who was handling props? Damn, okay. No external injuries. Yeah, poison. Yep. Good it's lord. A yeah, no shit. Thank you, Shinigami, for your maximum contribution to this investigation. I mean, Shinigami okay, was saying table. we don't know for sure that. Scotty table. I was about to. I, Let me start the goddamn God, sentence, God. bruh. Sh uh, Shinigami was just saying that we don't know for sure that it was only just poison, but I mean, it feels pretty cut and dry. But we'll see. Oh, okay, we can look at everything on the table. Bottle. There's a wine bottle on the table. Karin poured the liquid from this bottle and started to suffer after drinking it. Then that means there's a chance the poison was mixed into this bottle. This isn't wine in here, right? Of course not. It's just grape juice. 
I poured out the bottle and replaced what was inside. Oh. Huh? You, Kurumi? Kurumi was handling props on the wings? But it wasn't just the bottle itself that had the poison, though. I'm pretty sure it was, like, the little vial that... Yeah, the vial. Conan had, like, produced from her, uh, from her jacket, dress, wherever the fuck she was keeping oh, it. Oh, she already had that prop on her. Right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. I was asked to help out before I went to get you. I'm still a theater club member, after all. Were both the wine and grape juice sealed before you swapped them out? Yes. I received the unopened wine bottle from a club member. Okay. I corked the bottle and poured the wine down the sink. Wh it's a waste, but we can't drink it anyway. Why not give it After to that, a teacher? I went to the cafeteria and bought a can of grape juice. I'm sure they could use of it. This was also <laughs> yeah, for real. I poured the juice into the bottle, then put the cork back. I passed the bottle to a club member, and my job was done. Which, Which club, club member? member? That bottle was then placed with the glasses on the shelf before the performance. Maybe mm. it was just a random one? I see. No, it's important. We need to know it's who she passed it off to. Around. Poison couldn't be added to the bottle after it was placed on stage. But it's like I keep saying, I don't think the bottle of wine had the poison to begin with. That no, was in the it's vial. probably the vial. If poison was mixed in, it'd be before it was brought on stage. Or it literally could have been in that vial, which was part of the prop. Unless, of course, it's a prop, like there's something in it. This vial is supposed to have poison in it, according to the script. What's well, actually supposed to be in it? It's dry and shows no signs of ever being No, wet. there was nothing in really? it, so it had to be the so wine bottle. So it was. Karumi, you're not looking very good right now. Well, to be I sure, want to know who she passed it off to. It wasn't real, and it was just another prop, right? Absolutely. It was always empty. It was all so the sorry, Scoot. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's, that's fine. That's fine. So we don't even keep colored water in it. The, the contents content spill easily, easily because, because of the, the loose, loose lid. lid. Wait, that's gonna. There be actually, there could have been something in it. From the vial into the glass on stage. Mm. Right, I did see that. It didn't look like she poured anything. It in. didn't. It looked empty, but. Mm, that's interesting. That's gonna be important. It's hard I feel. To imagine there being any poison inside it. And the thing about Raincoat, at least from what I've seen from past cases, at least this early into the game, is that a lot of the information that we see may or may not be, like, obvious. And some of the things may be, like, reading into it too much. But that feels pretty direct. Yeah. So I'm almost inclined to say that there's something interesting about that, though. They were easily, like, you could easily, like... Okay, uh, what about strange. the glasses? I check both glasses? No, just the one. No, just, just one. There are two glasses on the table. The props used for the duel of poisoned cups. Right, maybe I there was something at the bottom of the glass. supposed to be stored upside down on the shelf in the back. Cotton was the victim, but she's also the one who set it on the table. Right. Maybe poison was already applied to the glass beforehand. She was the one that set it up. Hey, do you know who prepared these glasses? You know what? What? What if it was a reverse situation where Conan had tried to poison, poison the other girl, yeah. but didn't know like which glass was actually going to be given to who? Right. Which is why she was even more surprised when she was the one that got poisoned. I'm still trying or to she like, thought she out. knew what she was doing and made a mistake, or the other girl sabotaged it. Yeah. It's strange. This is going to be an interesting case, I feel. Oh. On prop duty, the freshmen are handling them this time. Okay, we need to talk to all of them. Do you know where this glass was before it was placed on stage? Props are kept in the theater club storage. This glass should have been in there too. Okay. The theater club storage. In that case, any club member would have access. Um, was real poison applied to the glass? I just thought it could be possible. But there's the risk of being caught by applying the poison after it was moved to the set. If poison was applied, it would have been before being brought to the set. But on days like this, when there's an open rehearsal, props are brought out of storage right after school. The glass should have stayed on that shelf the whole time. Okay. After school. Which means it'd be even harder to apply poison before then. Yes. Not necessarily. At the very least. The props in the set were fully prepared at least one hour before the performance. One hour? Glass were placed upside down on the stage shelf at least one hour prior to the performance. Okay. Hmm. Doesn't look like there's anything else here. Yeah, no, I think that's it. Uh, in the wings, maybe? 
Unless, of course, Not only is Kuro gone, but now Kaden too. Could this also be a fight for the lead role? If so, those most suspicious are Kaden's rivals. Yoshiko, Waruna, and Kurane. Who is the... Oh, Kurane is the other girl on stage. But they both have lead roles, so why would she be the, a suspect? Is right. the culprit one of those three? Hmm. I need to find out if there was anything suspicious about them during the performance. Kurune was in the wings the whole time, so perhaps she knows something about the others. But we saw... Yeah, Yoshiko, I want to hear about that Before one, actually. The incident occurred, do you know where Yoshiko was and what she was doing? That's actually the first thing I thought of. Right. I didn't see Yoshiko in the wings. She may have been watching from the audience. But or taking left. a little pee mid-show. You know what they say, not every pee-pee uh, -pee time is a poo-poo time, but every poo-poo time is a pee-pee time. True. Oh, right. Speaking of which, during the performance, I noticed Yoshiko walking down the aisle. I thought she was coming back from the restroom. What was she doing? But I didn't see her take her seat. What if she wasn't part of the audience? Then where'd she go? Where could she have been? Strange, isn't it? Mm, wait, no, Warren, I was on stage, though. Kurane. What about Kurane? Did she seem strange before the incident occurred? Hmm. Hmm. I haven't seen Kurane. She was working up above the whole time. Above? Oh, she was managing the lights then. But the lights went out. There's they did. There's a walk above to adjust the lights. And that's where Kurane was supposed to be. Oh shit, yeah, it's probably multiple people working together. That's weird. So I didn't see her in the wings. Did all three girls work together to sabotage Kaden? There's another girl they could handling have. the lights. So it would be helpful to speak to her. Oh, there's another girl handling the lights, okay. That's good to know, that's good to know. Okay. We'll ask about Warana and Cotton in that Karuni, case as well. Did you notice anything suspicious about Warana while you were watching from the wings? Hmm. As far as I can tell, Warana was just her usual self. She was listening to music right up to the start of the play. I think that's how she concentrates. Did she hmm. go near the glasses or bottle before the performance? I wasn't watching her the entire time, but if she did go near the set, I think I would have noticed. Hmm, I see. Warana was the closest to the victim. That's ample opportunity to commit the crime. I mm. guess, yeah. But still, how did she add the poison? It couldn't have been during the performance, right? Did she have anything on her person? I feel like we need to talk to her. Wait, yeah. now that I think about it... Wait, what? Right after the lights went dark in that one scene, she went near the shelf to pick up a plate. Oh, wait, what? I did not see that. Oh. Her back was toward the audience, so I couldn't see her hands. But she only had two or three seconds max. This feels like it was staged by all three girls. Could she have poured hidden poison in the glass in that time? Did she have any other opportunities after? The next time she touched the glasses was during the shuffling scene. Right. But it was Cotton who moved the glasses and bottle. She also prepared the poison vial. Right. And plus, after shuffling, Cotton was the one who chose the first glass. Given the situation, it'd be difficult for Waruna to poison Cotton specifically. Right. That feels intentional, like, bro. Okay, I guess we'll ask about Cotton in that case. Before the performance, did you notice anything off about Cotton? I think she was more on edge than usual. But why? What do you mean? She yelled at underclassmen who were late in preparing for the show. She also paced around restlessly. That's not just today. She's been that way since Echo's death. Huh, maybe, maybe she was worried she'd be next. Had stressed her out. But since she was murdered after Echo, she should be considered another victim, right? I have to kind of... I, I wouldn't rule her out as a culprit in Aiko's death. Yeah, she's definitely a suspect. If she knew someone was out to get her, then it's not strange for her to be mentally unstable. Sure. 
Okay. The ones fighting for the lead role are Yoshiko, Waruna, and Kurume. None of them seem particularly suspicious so far. Wait, what do you mean? Of course they're suspicious. I'm suspicious Everybody's of all suspicious. three of them right now. Hey, how long are you going to keep this up? I'm so over playing 20 questions with this ugly chick. Well, this ugly chick just provided, 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 provided us with a bunch of useful information. So <laughs> take that, Shinigami. And I think we might be out of time for the rest of this episode. I think so. So if you guys are excited for more Rain Code, go ahead and smash that like button. And I said it that loud because apparently if you yell smash that like button, YouTube lights up your like button. Oh, let me try it. Hey, YouTube, smash that like button. Did, did it, it work? work? Comment squad, tell yes, us if it work? worked. Please tell us it worked. I, mean, I, I really want it to work. And we will catch you guys in the next episode of Rinko. Whenever we play more Rinko, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. Love you guys. Catch you later. Don't forget to ring the bell and subscribe too. Yay. Do you want to thank our YouTube members today, Nicole? I do, because you did it last time. Thank you so much to our wonderful YouTube members, Regular Mags, Sandwich Productions, Fun Fox Animations, and Just Kells. And if you would like to become a fellow traveler, a member on our YouTube channel as well, it's only $1.99 a month.